Hey church family, I'm really excited to tell you about something new that we're doing here at The Heart. We are hosting what we're calling Table Talks. Let me invite you to the table. Table Talks are a series of events where we are gathering together to discuss some challenging issues. We believe as a church family, we can rally together, even in different sides of different issues, and explore them in a healthy way that drives us towards each other, and most importantly, towards Christ. Let me give you an example of some of the things we've thought of that we may cover, but as we'll see, we want you to help shape these conversations. Each Table Talk will hone in around a particular and maybe challenging issue within church life. How do we have constructive conversations in the church? What of deconstruction and reconstruction? How can we do those healthily? What is the church's role in racial reconciliation? How do we navigate the polarized politics of our day? What is the church's role in creation care? These are just ideas. What explorations are stirring in your heart? While each one of these events will put something on the table to frame our discussion, let me remind you, nothing's off the table. See what I did there? We believe this can be a space for people to express with vulnerability where they are on issues that really confuse and confound and even separate us at times. So would we come together to the table? How do we prepare ourselves well for these kind of conversations? We've called them forums or open dialogues, but here's how the conversation's taken shape. Here's our vision for Table Talks. The idea is built on three components of conversation. The place we start is study. Each time we have a table talk, there will be a YouTube presentation, a way to engage a particular topic that may be challenging, that may be new to some of us, but is important. So we're going to lay the groundwork first by educating ourselves through a study session. There'll be a video on YouTube that you can access, play, take notes, pause. It'll have questions that we will want you to engage. And it's a way for you to dig deep into a topic. And our course of study, we hope, in part, will be determined by our church family. It's a conversation. So what do you want to dive into deeply? Another component of preparing ourselves for table talks is spiritual practice. We need to spend time with God chewing on the deep things that we're studying and learning about. For that, we will have a guided meditation that we'll host on YouTube. And we'll ask you to spend time with God. And at last, we arrive to our table talk to the time we get together. And so we come together, starting at Valley Cruces Conference Center, where you'll find free childcare, and we will give all the logistical details each event that we host. You'll also be able to join us on Zoom. There, you can expect to engage this deep and challenging conversational topic with grace, with humility, and with deep listening. And that's our goal, to listen to God, and one another. This is the rhythm we want to invite our church into, to listen deeply, to seek God, and to come together at the table. What do we mean by listening deeply? Well, we want to hear from the broader church. We want to press into important issues. We want to be formed by scripture. We believe God's word is sufficient to address the challenging things in our lives and in the conversations around the world. We wanna seek God. We wanna cultivate a deeper prayer life. We want to be a people of prayer. We want to self-assess ourselves for sanctification. We don't wanna just barge into these challenging topics without an awareness of what's going on in our heart and holding that before God. And ultimately the goal is Christ-likeness, to become more like Jesus, a non-anxious presence and challenging topics. And what shall we expect when we come together as a result of these things? We want to engage in open dialogue, building a culture where people feel comfortable sharing, exploring, asking tough questions, and sharing their journey of faith with each other. We want to hold space for diversity, knowing that unity is not the same as uniformity. And we want to demonstrate, as Christ does to us, a commitment to one another. Why are we having table talks? Why are we openly engaging challenging conversations within the life of the church? In our context in the American church, it seems that polarity is the norm, that Christians and even the world are becoming more and more divided. And Christ wants us to come together. So we view these table talks as a vital part of our strategy here at the heart to mend the rift between people, 
by listening deeply, by engaging the Word of God and seeking His heart together. I believe when we draw close to God, we find ourselves closer to one another. And part of drawing closer to God is seeking understanding in these challenging topics. Well, a medieval theologian named Anselm put it very simply, he aspired for faith seeking understanding. And I believe that's what we are attempting to do here. We believe God can provide clarity when we sit openly with one another and openly with scripture and we let God and his spirit do his work in our hearts. And stepping outside of a broader church history for our own church and our own period in time, this is part of our vision of who we are as a church, attempting to create vibrant spaces of hope and healing where Christ's love is put into action. We believe that happens in part at the table. And all the way back to the early church, we see a pattern we're attempting to emulate. This is Acts 2 verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. And so we see the early church listening deeply, studying robustly. We see them coming together at table and breaking bread. And we see them seeking God in prayer. And so while this table talk might sound new to us, we're really stepping in line with an ancient tradition that the church has fostered since its earliest days of coming together to listen to God and one another deeply. So let's be shaped by God as we come to the table together.